First, we have an ordinance of first reading, item 19. This is the uh, soft story ordinance that we've had hearings on. This is an ordinance of the City of Pasadena amending Pasadena Municipal Code Title IV, Chapter 4.32 regarding construction tax and adding Pasadena Municipal Code Title 14, Chapter 14.08, entitled Mandatory Seismic Strengthening Provisions for Existing Wood Hyphen Frame Buildings with Soft, Weak, or Open Hyphen Front Walls. Thank you, sir. My name is Alexander Rodriguez. Uh, I represent uh, Bay City's construction. We're one of the contractors that's doing actively doing retrofits in Santa Monica and Los Angeles. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of uh, some of my thoughts of what I learned working in both of those cities and some of the problems I think that I found with the existing ordinances, I've read it. As I've seen it, the, the law has the same loopholes uh, here that it does in LA and Santa Monica. The design criteria in Los Angeles, it's pretty easy to determine how strong the new steel is supposed to be but there really isn't any language that mandates the analysis of the existing lumber in the building. We found many of the buildings that are not fit to accept the new retrofit methods that are being implemented, whether it's a soft story moment frame or a shear wall or cantilever columns. So I would like to, to just bring that to the attention of the council that there should be some guidelines for design methodologies using really considering each building on its own merit and its existing condition and showing some type of uh, proof that the building was actually assessed, not just a site visit. I'm seeing that 90% of all of the designs are almost identical, they're cookie cutters. And quite frankly, we don't believe that the buildings are gonna perform, even though a very significant amount of cost and construction is gonna take place. Mostly it's because the building, it's like connecting something very strong like steel to toothpicks. These buildings are very old and uh, the framing is substantially deteriorated and not enough has been, a, has been done in addressing the, the connection between the old and the new. That's a, the, probably the, the, the largest deficiency in, um, in Santa Monica's ordinance and in LA City. And it's being left to the designers, um, you know, the engineers and the design build firms to figure it out. But very few are doing it under the fear that it's gonna cost more money for construction. There's been a lot more emphasis placed on, on the cost and duly noted, it is a lot of money, but I think when you, when you take your eye off of making sure the building doesn't fall and the building doesn't break, you end up having these distortions in the design. And, um, and I, quite frankly, I really don't believe that they're gonna perform like, um, like their, their intention. And that would be a, a, a big tragedy considering that the construction costs in LA are gonna be about $2 billion. So that's, that's one thing I just want to bring to, to your attention. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez.